Hello, and welcome to section 4.5 on the substitution rule. Suppose we wanted to differentiate x squared plus 1 to the third. Because this is a composition of functions, the chain rule tells us that d dx of x squared plus 1 to the third is equal to 3 times x squared plus 1 squared times 2x. Simplifying, this is 6x times x squared plus 1 squared. Using the new language we have learned, this means that x squared plus 1 to the third is an antiderivative of 6x times x squared plus 1 squared. The question now is how do we reverse this process? That is, given a function f of x that is the derivative of a composition of functions, how do we find the integral of f of x dx? Using the example from a moment ago, we can look at the integral of 6x times x squared plus 1 squared dx. Letting u equal x squared plus 1, we get that the differential du is equal to 2x dx. Then the integral of 6x times x squared plus 1 squared dx is equal to the integral of 3 times x squared plus 1 squared times 2x dx, just by reorganizing terms. Now replacing x squared plus 1 with u and 2x dx with du, we get that this is equal to the integral of 3u squared du, which is equal to u cubed plus c. Now subbing back in for u, we get that the integral we wanted is equal to x squared plus 1 to the third plus c. In fact, this procedure can be done in general. This is due to the substitution rule. The substitution rule says, if u equals g of x is a differentiable function whose range is an interval i and f is continuous on i, then the integral of f of g of x g prime of x dx is equal to the integral of f of u du. Let's see why this can be done in general. Observe that if capital F prime is equal to f, then the integral of capital F prime of g of x times g prime of x dx is equal to capital F of g of x plus c. This is because the chain rule tells us that d dx of capital F of g of x is equal to capital F prime of g of x times g prime of x. If u is equal to g of x, then star says that the integral of capital F prime of g of x times g prime of x dx is equal to capital F of g of x plus c, which is equal to capital F of u plus c, which is equal to the integral of capital F prime of u du. Now replacing capital F prime with f, we get the statement of the substitution rule, that the integral of f of g of x times g prime of x dx is equal to the integral of f of u du. Now that we have the substitution rule, we can use it to compute some more complicated integrals. For example, find the integral of 3x squared times cosine of x cubed dx. Notice if g of x is equal to x cubed, then g prime of x is equal to 3x squared. When approaching an integral, look for function compositions. If you notice the derivative of an inside function in the integral, this inside function is a prime candidate for substitution. So let u equal x cubed, then the differential du is equal to 3x squared dx. So the integral of 3x squared cosine of x cubed dx, rewritten as the integral of cosine of x cubed times 3x squared dx, is equal to the integral of cosine of u du by substituting in u for x cubed and du for 3x squared dx. Now this integral is equal to the sine of u plus c, and remembering to replace u back with x cubed at the end, we get that this is equal to sine of x cubed plus c. Let's try another example. Find the integral of sine of theta, cosine of theta, d theta. Notice here there's no clear inside or outside function, but our function can be broken into two pieces, sine of theta and cosine of theta, and cosine of theta is the derivative of sine of theta. So let u equal sine of theta, then du 
is equal to cosine of theta d theta. Now, the integral of sine of theta cosine of theta d theta can be rewritten as the integral of u du by replacing sine of theta with u and du with cosine of theta d theta. This integral is equal to 1 half u squared plus c. And again, remembering to replace u with sine of theta at the end, we get that the integral of sine of theta cosine of theta d theta is equal to 1 half sine squared of theta plus c. Now let's find the integral of x cubed times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx. Again, in this example, there's no obvious composition of functions. This problem will require a little bit more force to use the substitution rule. Since we are trying to reverse the chain rule, we might consider substituting the inside 1 plus x squared as u, since the derivative of 1 plus x squared exists in the function. Let's let u equal 1 plus x squared, then the differential du is equal to 2x dx. So the integral of x cubed times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx, with a little bit of reorganization, can be written as the integral of 1 half x squared times 2x times the square root of 1 plus x squared dx, which is equal to the integral of 1 half x squared times 1 plus x squared to the 1 half times 2x dx. Now replacing 1 plus x squared with u, and 2x dx with du, we get that this is equal to the integral of 1 half x squared u to the 1 half du. Notice the integral still has an x squared in it, but since u equals 1 plus x squared, x squared is equal to u minus 1. Therefore, this is equal to 1 half the integral of u minus 1 times u to the 1 half du, which is equal to 1 half the integral of u to the 3 halves minus u to the 1 half du. Integrating, we get that this is equal to 1 half times 2 fifths u to the 5 halves minus 2 thirds u to the 3 halves plus c. Distributing the 1 half and replacing u with 1 plus x squared, we get that this is equal to 1 fifth times 1 plus x squared to the 5 halves minus 1 third times 1 plus x squared to the 3 halves plus c. Finally, let's see one more example where a little bit of force is again needed to use the substitution rule. Find the integral of x plus 7 times the third root of 3 minus 2x dx. Here we'll let u equal 3 minus 2x, then du is equal to negative 2 dx, and solving for x, we get x is equal to 3 halves minus u over 2. With this in mind, the integral of x plus 7 times the third root of 3 minus 2x dx can be rewritten as the integral of x plus 7 times the third root of 3 minus 2x times negative 1 half times negative 2 dx. Now substituting in each piece, we get the integral of 3 halves minus u over 2 plus 7 times the third root of u times negative 1 half du pulling the negative one half out to the front and doing a bit of simplification, we get negative one half, the integral of 17 halves minus u over two times u to the one third du. Again, pulling another one half to the front, we get that this is equal to negative one fourth times the integral of 17 minus u times u to the one third du, which is equal to negative one fourth the integral of 17u to the 1 3rd minus u to the 4 thirds du, which is equal to negative 1 4th times 17u to the 4 thirds divided by 4 thirds minus u to the 7 thirds divided by 7 thirds plus c. With some simplification and subbing back in for u, we get negative 1 4th times 51 fourths times 3 minus 2x to the 4 thirds minus 3 sevenths times 3 minus 2x to the 7 thirds plus c. To summarize, we now have a new rule, the substitution rule, which will allow us to compute the integral of more complicated functions.